So my name is Sidra. I am 24 years old and I was an employee at JLD Tax and Accounting slash JLD Tax Resolution Group. People might know them as either. Um, I worked there for three years. I've worked there starting December 2020. I started as an intern and I worked as an intern for a year and I got promoted to full time. And that's when I worked there for another two years until just this past December 11th. So I had messaged my boss that I was going to be taking a day off for the global strike for the ceasefire. Um, I was going to be using my paid time off. I had no issue with that. And I ended my message by telling him, you know, thank you like so much I, for understanding why I need to do this. Like, you know, I know it's been really hectic at the office this last week. I really appreciate like you understanding. And I sent a screenshot of like a post, like one of the posts I saw about the strike. And then I saw he read the message like right then when I sent it and he didn't respond. And it did make me anxious the next morning on the 11th, it was 8.44 AM. And I woke up to find that he had messaged me back that I was terminated from my job. He didn't provide any reasoning as to why. He told me he, was, he sent a separate email to my personal email as well. Uh, there was nothing in that email either. Both both the text and the email just said, you're being terminated. And that's it. He didn't give me a reason. He had never called me in about any serious issues with my work before. So it was very indicative as to the reason for my termination. And then this was only furthered when I was sent screenshots from several people of comments that he had made on posts on X and on LinkedIn. And I was informed he'd engaged in doxing. And I was looking through those comments and one of the most prominent types he was making were towards universities. He was basically admonishing them for not taking action against student organizations that were showing support for Palestine. And there was one comment that stuck with me. Like this is the one that has lived in my brain since I saw it. In one post, there was a list of student organizations from Harvard who had spoken in support of Palestine. And underneath, he had commented that, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna directly quote from here, uh, companies should make sure they don't hire people affiliated with these hate groups, end quote. And I could not stop thinking about this one particular comment because just some of the organizations included the Harvard Muslim Student Association, the Harvard College Pakistan Student Association, and the Harvard Islamic Society. And there's many more that I'm not listing here. There were so many of them. But I'm highlighting those three, like, and I stuck, those three stuck with me because I identify with all of them. Like, a young Muslim of Pakistani background. I'm, I'm normally a very private person. I like to keep to myself. I don't like being in the spotlight. But this is an issue that is so much bigger than me and my comfort zones. No one should be fearful that they could lose their jobs simply because, again, they felt it was their religious and human duty to speak up against injustices they see and to speak up for people who are not able to speak up for themselves. I want people that this has happened to to see they're not alone in this in these experiences. I want to send a message to anybody who is scared of termination that they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be scared because they'll have a community of people to rally behind them like I did. And we'll make sure that we do everything in our power to help them. I want employers to see this and understand they can't replicate what happened to me. If they try, they will not be able to do so silently. We as a community will come out for those employees. And I want to I want to make it so clear for people that you don't need to sacrifice your beliefs and what you feel are your obligations to speak up for those who are unable to, despite what people like my previous boss and mainstream media may think. And I can tell you with full confidence that if this situation ever happened again, I wouldn't change what I did. I stood for my beliefs, I did my duty as a Muslim, and there wasn't a single moment that I regretted it. And for so anyone out there who's experienced this or afraid they will, don't be, because I'm with you and I support you.